The one to one scale V2 rocket comprised of three sections, a nose cone section, a mid section and a fin section, and upon deployment would separate into those three sections. Both ends of the mid section contained a CO2 pyrolysis deployment device. The devices are filled with CO2 or compressed air through the fuel hose. A check valve is required as the hose is remotely disconnected. The high pressure gas is then passed on through the manifold around the outside of the black hose in through to the main chamber. Device deployment is activated by a quarter inch ball valve which is actuated by a 12mm mini geared motor. This allows high pressure gas to pass from the fuel manifold through the black hose to actually actuate the main valve. The main valve is specially custom built and designed for this particular project. It's basically comprised of a dual piston arrangement with an accelerator stub. To illustrate how the valve works, this cross section has been shaded red for the high pressure areas and green for the low pressure surfaces. This is the valve in the closed state. As illustrated here, the internal surfaces of both pistons and the bottom of the stub are exposed to high pressure gas where the external surfaces of the pistons are exposed to low pressure gas. At first glance, intuition would suggest the pressure balance or the force balance would be in the upward direction, with the area of the pistons being approximately equal, allowing the force on the stub to push the, the whole arrangement up. However, what's not immediately obvious is the bottom piston is of a larger diameter than the top piston, thereby providing a larger surface area than the top piston area and the stub put together. This naturally forces the valve closed when there's no pressure underneath the base piston. The difference in diameter between the two pistons is more evident upon highlighting the step. The main valve is actuated by supplying high pressure gas to the base of the bottom piston. The upward downward force differential on the pistons is so small it doesn't require much pressure on the base piston to start moving the main shaft in the upward direction. Once the main shaft has traveled far enough to allow the accelerator stub to clear sealing, the process is accelerated dramatically to allow the valve to fully open within milliseconds to allow for the rapid release of the internal gas energy.